up everyone and welcome back to little Stalingrad where we're making a bit of a push again so that's the last of the arty preparation coming in on the right there and now I've got a fairly battered bedraggled platoon and some of the recon guys legging it across that courtyard they're going to take up positions in that big row of houses in the middle the enemy are going to see them they're going to shoot at them and hopefully I'm just going to well you guys know the routine by now this basically the only thing that keeps happening here get in take a few casualties then once I've got enough bodies in there the Americans have got so much more firepower than the Russians and it's just a matter of crushing them with that fire superiority what I didn't count on though is another set of artillery barrages you got a couple of shells landing just on one of the reinforcing platoons coming up through the mouse holding lines on the left and some more shells landing in the courtyard so I am bloody lucky that I timed that as I did otherwise all those guys in those platoons would be a lot more dead than they are now so down on the mouse holo line it's chaos as everybody's scrambling to get some kind of cover I don't know why I keep bloody sending people up that way because GCF blatantly has a target reference points there and he's able to just drop artillery fire on it but you know I've definitely learnt now and then down in the bottom right you can see the firefight going on in that uh, next street the positions we just occupied and the Russians are getting shut down pretty damn quickly you might have noticed there is a bit of grenade launcher fire coming in from that row of houses just north of the park there just on the edge of the objective so might have uncovered another enemy position up there it seems like a good place to have one. I'd have some people in there, so I can expect GCF to have some. The artillery's kind of put a crimp on what I'm doing. The firefight in the row we just occupied, that's pretty much over and done with, and I just kind of have to sweat it out until this artillery is over. Then I can start moving more people up and start preparing for the next push. The downside is that that house on the end of the mouse holding line there, it's getting a bit battered. And I've got some people in there, they're taking cover. One more, yes, there we go. Down goes the building on top of everybody. Why did I send people up there again? That's pretty bad. Probably the biggest loss in uh, one moment I've had so far, but it's my own fault of being an idiot. At least it can't happen again. Also, we're going to have to talk to GCF about this Geneva Convention thing. About trying to avoid excessive damage to civilian property, that kind of thing. Anyway... In this middle house of this T here, I've got exactly the kind of fight that I don't want to be getting into. Like you can see all these dead bodies littering the floors. And there's a Russian team up there who is basically shooting everybody I try and send up to deal with them. For some reason, my guys refuse to blow their way in. On the second floor, they keep trying to use the stairs and as you can see, it's going really well. The Russians are doing all kinds of stuff like dropping grenades down on them like that. You know, ugh. that's the kind of fight I don't want to get in. Maybe they're not blowing the walls because it's going to destroy the building. I'd quite like them to destroy the building at this stage. But luckily, this one amazing pixel shopman has decided to run up. He actually took that shot, but he was saved by his body armor. And then finally, the last guy up there has been nailed. But there was only three or four Russians up there and they took out a good eight or ten Americans don't want that that's not the kind of fight i want to have another big push coming up guys this arty's already tailing off hopefully i can get on with being the grinder instead of the meat so i'll catch you in the next video 